I think we may just have found one of the most ridiculous vehicles in World of Tanks console and it's probably not the one that you'd be thinking of straight away. This is a German tier 6 vehicle. It is of course the J Panther 4 and this one is absolutely insane for two reasons. One, the damage that this thing can deal in a singular minute and the fact that this thing just doesn't get detected. Why? Because it has 185 meters still concealment, it has 450 meters of view range in the way that we've set it up, and it has 3,353 damage per minute as a tier 6 TD. Hmm, you can see what I'm thinking when it comes to a little bit cracked in the game and so hopefully this video is going to be very interesting for you if you want to find out how we've kitted it out we'll do a very quick run through we're not going to spend too long we have ran it with advanced loader for increased dpm we have got advanced optics for increased view range so we can spot people from uh, further away and we've also gone with the advanced concealment which reduces our detectability so that we can stay invisible for like 99 percent of the game and one of them you'll see me not even get spotted in the entire game although I still get taken out because brilliant uh, either way what we'll see here is running full premium consumables we're running with uh, full gold rounds because this is after all a tier 6 seal clubber so why not try and be a seal clubber uh, mainly because the penetration of the standard rounds is awful so when you get into tier 8 games uh, even with the penetration that you have you can struggle quite a bit and you'll see that in one of the gameplays anyway but let's jump in to see exactly why this tank is so broken because the gameplay speaks for itself now the first game for today's video is of course one of the most ridiculous ones that i've had so far in this tank and it is actually crazy how much damage we end up doing at the end of it but how did we actually manage to deal so much damage why is this tank absolutely crazy let's get into it so first things first this tank is actually relatively fast you can see me doing about 40 kilometers an hour on the flat slash kind of you know this type of terrain um, and that maintains speed throughout the entirety of the game regardless of what map you're on it might take slightly longer to actually get up to top speed but it's very very good for a tank like this and when you combine that with the fact that you can very rarely actually get spotted in the game, even if you are moving, because, I mean, if you're looking at the minimap right now, you can see how small our circle is, uh, and of course how wide the view range is of this tank. So even as a light tank player, you'll struggle to actually spot one of these things if it's stationary. Um, and that is just, like, crazy to begin with. So you can outspot uh, light tanks in this tank, which... Um, pretty sure that's how it's supposed to work isn't it wargaming um but either way regardless of whether the light tanks are going to spot you or not everyone else is just basically not going to spot you regardless um so that is very very nice and even when you're firing at tanks can't spot you because your concealment is that good and especially if you're taking some of the perks or if you're uh, kind of kicking out your tank in such a way where you can fire without being detected um yeah it's just absolutely mad and you can see here we find ourselves a nice little tasty snack in the M4A3 E2. We don't actually manage to hit him with the second one, but we do actually get spotted because we fired just as the KV-1S actually came around. We avoid his shell actually hitting us. And now maybe we can get one into the VKP here. Are we going to be able to do it? Yes, we can. Easy as you like. He tries to auto-aim us there by the most part, and he manages to bounce. So... What we do here is actually try and move out of the way. We don't want to get hit for free. We don't have that many hit points, 710. We get spotted by the Absolution here. We finish him off and then we can hopefully remain undetected. And this, this is probably why I felt awful uh, when I was playing up against this Defiance. Because you might think, oh, he spotted us. Nope, we were just still spotted from the guy before. Which means we can fire at this guy with never getting detected. Other than the fact of if he blind fired me in this game. Mm, that will be a considerable thing when you start playing these German TDs, especially at the lower tiers, because no one seems to have any view range or the equipment to be able to spot you, which is why all of the SEAL clubbers like jumping down to these tiers. They're very much dominated by, uh, if you actually know what to put on a tank, there are some absolutely overpowered vehicles, and even if they're not overpowered, you can usually make them work really easily. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're not one of the SEAL clubbers, but if you are, 
yeah, maybe you can uh, jump in in one of these vehicles to uh, see how well you fare and if you can have better results than me, let me know and you can send in your results into the Discord which we have open. Uh, there's a gameplay results section in there so you can always drop them in there and I'll have a look at it occasionally. But 1600 damage done so we doubled how much hit points we have on this vehicle which is, I mean, it's pretty good. I wouldn't be, you know, hating on that at all. We take one from the M4, but unfortunately for him, we have a uh, 3,300 DPM, and he definitely doesn't have that. And that allows us to go in. We actually bounce one off of him because he's looking up at us, and he hit the upper plate, which made the angle, like, absolutely insane. Like, there's no way he's going to pass. Uh, we try a little flick onto the medium tank. Don't manage to hit him. We've got artillery looking at me, so definitely don't want to get hit by one of those boys so we come in and hopefully we can come up from behind these heavy tanks and start pumping them for their hit points because we've done it to a few tanks already in this game but we are losing it seven to nine we end up actually losing this entire game because you know when you try and carry yeah sometimes it happens i end up actually tracking this su which is a good thing because what we do here is continually track him and that means that he can't turn around or do any damage to us. We also put him in between me and the heavy tank to hopefully avoid taking a shell. We take one anyway, but he's firing HE, so it's absolutely fine. And then we can come up from behind this guy and hopefully deal a bit of damage. You can see he's trying to get us. He actually hits us there, so yeah, a bit unfortunate. But now he's dead because we have a ridiculous reload in this vehicle. So we can just push him rather than going for that shot, which could potentially actually not work. We end up going for this VKP who comes around that corner. It doesn't aim properly and we actually hit him. So hopefully now at this point we can just go in at this guy. I'm hoping we can pen him here. Can we get one into the turret? Yes, we can, but we don't have enough time. Actually, the best play I could have done here was to come over to the left, avoid being taken that hit, and then I could have just YOLO'd the guy. I would have had better reload, etc. And then our best friend in the M41 HMC comes flying past, manages to get lucky, hits the very back right end of our vehicle to take us out, which, uh, thank you, artillery. It's always fun when they start to come in like tank destroyers. And then we have to rely on the VK3601H in this game, who, uh, um, yeah, um, anyway, we lost this game, so, yeah, this tank is very, very powerful, uh, we did 3.9k damage and of course came away with a ridiculous result, but it would have been slightly better if we didn't actually get taken out there, we may have been able to avoid the hits but from the artillery and come away with a win, but unfortunately, we didn't do any of that. But maybe in this next game, we will be able to. And so this next game is on Great Wall. Great Wall being a very interesting match, but it is a tier 8 game. So we've got to play it a little bit careful. We want to make sure that we're not getting spotted straight away because when you have 700 hit points and can be two shot by some of the tier 8s in the game, if not one shot by a TD, who might be roaming around within the game, um, you know, going into some happy spots, we want to make sure we get a good idea of where the enemy tanks are going to be at the beginning of the game, as you should always do when you are playing in these paper tanks, and especially when you're playing lower tier vehicles. Because if you try to overcommit on a flank that usually, if you were top tier, could potentially come out with a win, even though, you know, you might get a couple of vehicles coming towards you. In a bottom tier game, if those vehicles are two tiers higher, you basically are never going to be able to come out with that win. So... What do we do here? Well, we come up into this location here. Why is it that we come to this location? Well, it's because we can spot people going into the middle. We can fire at light tanks without being spotted. And uh, yeah, just um, farm up some of these vehicles over here, like this J Panther 4, who obviously didn't realize that if you just stay a little bit further away, you can't be penned. Now, we are firing premium rounds in this game to try and pen this Marrow Breaker now. I'm trying to hit the Capola here. It is a difficult shot. Even the Capola is a little bit sus whether you'll actually pen. And he's actually looking over this way. Now, why a Mauer Breaker was in this position at all? Unknown to me. He tries to go for a shot. He actually hits one of our teammates here. He's looking directly at me. And we'll try and pull back to avoid that shell just in case he does go for a blind fire. Doesn't actually go for one in this game, but you never know. But... What we do find is ourselves a little P-43 who we were definitely 100% aiming at. And then we hit this M6 and it's basically just curtains for this guy. I mean, he must be having so much fun here. Uh, and we're just basically going for a bit of damage. 
He's obviously spotted. We trapped him again. Uh, we've locked him down again. And here, hopefully, we can get a little bit more damage. We get a little bit more damage, and there you go, 2,100 damage so far. And this is what this tank does. As soon as you can start doing this, it's, it's absolutely crazy. You can see here, we go for a shot on the SMV, pen him in the cupola. Always nice. When you're looking at the top of the SMVs, they are awful. So, yeah, you can pen them quite easily. And here you go, just easy shots into the top of the turrets of these guys. The Mauer Breaker's looking over this way. We try and go for a shot here. He actually is not a complete animal. Maybe he is. Maybe he's aiming at one of our teammates. He actually hits me there, which... Uh, yeah, maybe I should have realised. Maybe I should have just pulled back. We managed to pen him somehow. Uh, probably because we went just inside of the track on that plate where there wasn't any spaced armour. I try and pull back and then he hits us again. Now, there wasn't anyone behind me, so I can't blame it on anyone being spotted behind me. It was literally just a bad move. I shouldn't have even bothered firing at him. I knew that he might have actually gone for the blind fire, but we still pick up 2,700 damage in this winning game. And you can see our team just end up mopping up the damage. So that's what I mean about this tank being absolutely broken in that you just don't get spotted and you can deal so much damage. And if you don't play like me, where I get just basically blind fired twice by a tank with 490 or 440 alpha then yeah you can have good games and i'm sure we would have been able to maybe pick up about 3k maybe a little bit more in this game if i didn't get taken out by that guy but either way a brilliant result and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video on this low tier boy that is definitely a seal clubber if you come back to it and end up playing a ton of games but Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you have any other low tier tanks you want me to review as we don't often do them. And yeah, it'd be interesting to see your thoughts on some of the most broken tanks tier for tier in the game. Maybe we'll do a series on them. But other than that, hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and join me back in the next video coming tomorrow. Goodbye.